Hi everybody, welcome to another new video. Uh, so in an earlier video, I actually shared about uh, what types of pen um, you can buy or you can buy, uh, you can purchase for your urban sketching when you're first starting urban sketching. So I did suggest two types of pen. One is the technical pen and one is the pen uh, fountain pen that's below $30. Now, how do you decide what pen is suitable for you uh, for the ink and wash technique uh, in urban sketching? Should you get the technical pen or should you get the fountain pen? So in this video, I will be out providing you with an outline of a few questions that you can ask yourself um, before you make a decision to buy a pen. I've explained about the technical pen and the fountain pen in um, the earlier video. Um, so I will not go into a lot of details in this one. Uh, but what I'll do is actually I'll highlight the differences between the two so that um, the questions that I present to you will make more sense. So a technical drawing pen is a felt tip pen which comes in specific nib width. They make perfect lines that are exactly the same width every time. The inks are completely waterproof and archival. They come in a limited range of ink colours and the pens are made from plastic and disposable so you can throw it away when you finish the ink. They cost between 2 to 4 dollars. Fountain pen is a nib pen that contains an internal reservoir that you can fill with liquid ink. There are various nib sizes and types. To use the pen, you have to fill the reservoir with ink that you can get separately. You have to clean the pen to swap to another ink. There is a huge variation in your pricing depending on the brand, design, filling mechanisms and materials that are made from. Uh, so first, is line variation important? for you. What I mean is like, well, are you able to produce line variation in one single, in a pen, in, in one pen? Uh, as I've mentioned, uh, the, for the technical pen, they are known for having consistent lines. So most of the, because of the, how the nib is made, it's actually a, a, a cylindrical shape. So you can't really do a lot of variation. If you buy in a 0.5, it's going to be 0.5 when you draw uh, in the line. However, if for fountain pen, if you are able to get um, the three different kinds of nib that will give you line variation, today, flex nib, and stub nibs. So if you are able to, if you like to have line variation, then you would like to get you. Would, it would be better for you to get a fountain pen with these three different uh, kinds of uh, uh, nib. So another question you would like to ask yourself is whether the colours of the ink is important for you. So most of the technical pens come in very standard colours like black or even grey or sapia. There are actually more colours now, but they, you can't get different shades as you like. Uh, whereas for fountain pen, there are many ink makers and they, many of them have come up with a waterproof uh, archival inks that are, are of, there are so many different shades and, and you can get to choose and, and there are so many different, um, you know, different properties of the ink that you can choose from. If you're interested to try out different colours of ink, I'll suggest that you go for fountain pen. Another question you like to ask yourself is, are you actually okay with handling pens? Uh, what I mean is actually fiddling with it, um, taking it apart, opening it and doing uh, cleaning, refilling, um, troubleshooting uh, with the pen. If you are, then a fountain pen is for you. Because for fountain pens, you need to, firstly, you need to buy converter, you need to buy ink, you need to ink it, you need to ensure that the feed works, you need to make sure that the pen is ink, uh, before you bring it out for sketching and then uh, when you're done you need to wash your pen and you need to ensure just make sure that you don't you keep your pen uh, clean and maintain it well so that it remains clock free because a lot of these um, sketch inks used for sketching they tend to be drier and, and they tend to clog up the pen so if you do not want to spend time washing pens cleaning pens <laughs> taking them apart and washing them then just go for a technical pen the next question is um, are you actually alright with your hands being smeared with ink, uh, with spills, like the possibility of getting ink spillage, um, getting blots and splatter all over your, your fountain pen, um, all over your the desk, uh, on your sketchbooks, and, and, and on the work surface in general. So if you are actually okay with that, then fountain pen uh, is something that you can consider. Because you've got to fill the pen, the ink, into the pen yourself, there's always this um, possibility of you getting your hands dirty and there's also this possibility of the ink leaking out, you get spills everywhere, 
and you can get ink blot on, on your sketch. So this is some, if you want to avoid all this, go for a technical pen. Are you concerned whether it's environmentally friendly, uh, your, whether your choice is environmentally friendly or and also pocket friendly? Because I find that in the long run, it will be cheaper and be more environmentally friendly if you get a cheap fountain pen um, with, with an ink with a, with a ink bottle. Uh, I got this bottle of ink from Noodles and it's about 550ml and it's about 20 over dollars and I could, I could use the whole, it took me about five to six years to, to finish up the whole bottle. Um, so compared to actually using a disposable technical pen, um, which, is, what, which one do you think is actually more environmentally friendly? And my last question is, do you want to have a customized drawing experience? What I mean by that is, um, do you actually want to pair up different pen, different nits with different colours of inks and, um, and see you know, how it actually works for you? Because most of the technical pens are quite standard, but the tip is fixed width, so they only make a certain you know, um, width of lines. And they're also quite a limited range of colours that it comes with. Um, so if you would like to have a pen, um, you like to like say, match uh, a flex knit with a blue ink, you like to sometimes try start knit with a, a fluorescent green ink or something like that, then uh, you should get a fountain pen. If you have answered yes to most of these questions, uh, then I think you are more a fountain pen person than a technical pen person. Um, I'm kind of biased here because I'm actually more a fountain pen person. I like that it's possible to customise um, your experience uh, with the drawing and the writing and I also like the, the part where you can get line variation with just one pen so that's my bias but of course if you do not like to wash your pen you do not like to think of too much about it you rather you know focus on the painting focus on um, drawing properly like just looking at the scene and deconstructing it and not thinking so much of that material then perhaps you should get a technical pen because that is probably the most fast free uh, uh, drawing experience or, or, or material that you can get. Um, I would what I suggest for beginners is that you can first try technical pen first because they are really cheap and easy to use. Um, and once you are okay with that, and if you do find that there's some you know problems or something that you don't like about it that could be solved or could be um, changed, uh, could be solved by using a fountain pen, then change to a fountain pen. Uh, so are you more a technical pen person or a fountain pen person? Share with me uh, what you got in the comment section down below. I hope you've enjoyed this versus video. Uh, if you like the video, please press the thumbs up button and then um, subscribe to my channel if, it, if my contents resonates with you. Um, there will probably be more videos about pens and inks. Do let me know if there's specific pens that you'd like to know or certain inks that you want me to review. Um, I will try to feature them in uh, future videos. I hope to see you in the next one. Um, in the meantime, happy drawing, happy urban sketching and bye-bye.